What is up? This is your LA in a minute, and I'm about to get inside of my first Waymo. These are the self-driving vehicles available 24-7 in many parts of Los Angeles. So in a special episode sponsored by Ural Shami Law Firm, aka Injury Needs, I want to talk about the impact of Waymos, whether they really are safe, and do they represent the future of Los Angeles? Let's get into it. No, literally, let's get into it. Now, the inside of the car, there's no driver. Maybe you've seen it before, maybe you've been in one, but it takes a little while to adjust to, but it feels safe, at least to me. And this is something that Google started working on in 2009, a self-driving project. And they rebranded this project as Waymo in 2016 to fully focus that brand on autonomous vehicles. Waymo was in San Francisco, they were in Phoenix, but they needed regulatory approval to operate in Los Angeles. So they studied, well, their scientists and their maps studied the streets of Los Angeles, the regulations, the ins and outs, and finally they got approval. Now, anybody in LA can hail a Waymo, but you must be within their range. I'm gonna put the map above. It's basically Echo Park to Santa Monica. Now, I waited about 10 minutes for the car. Now, it's a pretty busy area right off of Sawtell. And I know the cars are polarizing. Some fear a tech takeover, surveillance, Big Brother is watching. Others just like the convenience, the ease, and honestly, not having a driver takes that little like conversational pressure off, so. So look, the fact is LA is the city that invented car culture, still celebrates car culture. And Waymos are being embraced more than ever, despite a few notorious incidents. But the thing is, this may be a glimpse at the future, a driverless future. Even though some people have complained about Waymo's loitering in residential areas or with the occasional uh, systems failure kind of blocking off traffic or something. So are they safe? Between July of 2024 and February 2025, there were 38 crashes in Waymo serious enough to determine that an airbag should be deployed, but only four of those were found to be a Waymo's fault. That's an 81 to 83% reduction of crashes based on the same routes and driving areas of humans driving cars. Kinda not surprising. So right now, it looks like Waymos can operate safely, even in a city like Los Angeles. Though they haven't quite conquered freeways and they're not in a lot of areas, the Valley, the South Bay, things like that. But more than 300,000 people in LA do have the app. So there's at least a big belief and a proof of concept that the Waymos can work. So in a special episode brought to you by Ural Shami Law Firm, aka Injury Needs, Waymo Story in LA is still being written, but it seems like they're safe. But are they the future of Los Angeles? That's yet to be determined. And if you do get injured, call David at 310-777-7717. Hopefully, it won't be from a Waymo. All right, LA, it's been a minute.